something. Hmm. I know! Our puppets! <laughs> Got our storybook! All right, are you ready to listen to the story? Turn on those listening ears. Take a deep breath in. Let's use our imagination. Let's see. Let me get to the right page. Ah! Here it is. It all started when our friends were playing at the playground. <laughs> Igwa was having so much fun playing on the slide. Meanwhile, Abena and Koja were playing with the ball. Ya was shouting with glee. Hmm, Ama and Kofi seemed to be concerned. I think they're looking for Kwesi. Let's take a listen. Have you seen Kwesi? No, Amma, we can't find him anywhere. We were playing hide and seek, but now we can't find him. We were looking all over for him. Quasi, Quasi, Quasi. Hey, guys, I was just playing with my cousin. I want you to meet him. Adolfo! Guys, you can meet my cousin. My name is Adolfo. Adolfo is staying with me for a little bit. We've been having so much fun, but he has to leave soon. My family is in Ghana. Ghana is in West Africa. Well, I've never been to Ghana before. Adolfo, what do you like to do? 
I would like to meet new people. I would like to listen to the words that they say. I can speak to them in more than one language. I can speak English and P. That's pretty cool. If I want to ask someone to play with me, how do I say it in Twee? Who pese wini me dear girl? If someone asks you what does that mean, it means that do you want to play with me? Do you want to play with me? Who pese wini me dear girl? Who pese wini me dear girl? Number one, nine million people speak Chui, an Akin language. Number two, fifty-eight percent of Ghana's population speak Chui. Number three, Ghana was the first country to gain independence from the British. Yes, and the Ghanaian people are so beautiful. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of pictures. But first, repeat after me: Akwaba. Akwaba. And that means well, welcome. Well, welcome. Wahoo to say. Wahoo to say. And that means, how are you? Not yet. Nehuye. Nehuye. That's right. I am fine. Good. Wadinde say. Wadinde say. What's your name? That's right. And then Medinde. Medinde. And that means my name is. Now let's turn it into a song. Malachi, come on over here and join us. <laughs> Aquaba, Aquaba, welcome in Twee. Twee. Well, who to say? How are you today? Come on and sing it with me. With me. Me, yeah. I am fine. Well, Dean, they say, what is your name? I wish I, I learned more, Twee. You're going to have to teach me. I think I hear my ma calling. I have to go. Bye. Our friends bid Adolfo farewell. It was nice meeting a new friend. They loved his name. They loved all of their names. In fact, they learned something special. Hey, did you know that all of our names are the days that we were born on? I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week cause my name is, cause my name is. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week cause my name is, cause my name is. Quasi, born on a Sunday. Kojo, born on a Monday. Abena, born on a Tuesday. Equia, born on a Wednesday. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week cause my name is, cause my name is. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week cause my name is, cause my name is. Y'all born on a Thursday. Kofi born on a Friday. I'm a born on a Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week. Go, 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 go. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. 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 I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week because my name is. Because my name is. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week because my name is. Because my name is. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week. I know my days of the week because my name is. After a bit more playing, our friends headed deeper into the forest. And where do you think they went? To the treehouse, of course. They all gathered round the canara, each friend placing one of their candles inside the candle holder. Moja Mbili Tattoo! Magic ensued. Suddenly, they found themselves in the savannah. They had never been here before. It was quite new for our friends. Everything seemed to be going okay until Kojo spotted a lion. <gasps> a 
Oh my goodness, said Ya. She was terrified. Alma thought it was pretty cool. Quasi wanted to get a closer look. But Kofi and Nikwa said, No way, Jose! Oh, we gotta get out of here. This is super scary, Aqua said in fear. And while she, Kofi, and Ya were terrified, the other friends seemed quite intrigued by the lion. It seems the Anguzo babies didn't know what to do. Should they stay or should they go? The group was filled with uncertainty. But one thing's for sure, that lion was getting closer. Suddenly, Abena began to whisper as fast as she could. Hey, guys! <clears throat> hey, guys! I see Fairy Ashley in the distance. Let's go over here. As all of the Anguzo babies loved the magic of Fairy Ashley, they all agreed to follow Abena. Welcome, Anguzo babies, said Fairy Ashley. You're just in time for my new naming ceremony. I'm so glad that you're here. The Anguzo babies were so confused. Naming ceremony? asked Alma. Why, yes. Today I'll be given a new name. Would you like to hear it? The friends were excited to hear Fairy Ashley's new name. They listened closely. <gasps> it was the lion! The lion had arrived for the ceremony. The Anguzo babies got even quieter and listened even more closely, for he had something to say. Adua, Adua, Adua is the name. Because it is in the second day of creation, as we say. The second day of creation, and Adua is very akin to water. So as you could see, friends, this was a very special day. Fairy Ashley was now Fairy Adua, a very powerful name. And while some will still call her Fairy Ashley, she'll keep that just the same. Fairy Adua has a special gift. That's her new name. Fairy Adua is what the babies will call her. And you can too. Because that name is very special just like you. When people talk about water, you're talking about the conduit between the earthly realm and the spiritual realm. So it is a very powerful name. And so friends, the Nguzo babies, the lion and fairy Adua began to dance and celebrate some more. They had so much fun. But it was time to go. So they bid farewells, just like they did with Adolfo. And though they were sad to go, they knew they'd be back tomorrow. The end. <laughs> that brings us to the end of our story. We'll see you next time. Well, friends, I hope you had fun playing with us today. I had fun with you. And for every Nguzo baby near and far, I hope you'll come back soon. Well, Harry, well, Harry.
Swahili is an African language. When we say Kwaheri, we're saying bye in Swahili. But this isn't goodbye, not for long. We'll be back together soon, so we can play some more. Kwaheri, Kwaheri.